Okay, we've made a solid model. Now what? Well, typically at this point, we need to get the information that's contained in your full-size solid model onto a piece of paper, which typically is somewhat smaller than your model. Argon will do this for us automatically. What we want to do, we'll start off by making a drawing of the drawer front. And before we begin, we want to make sure that a few things are set up correctly. So let's dive under the hood of the dimension palette and take a look at a few things. Under linear, this is going to make dimensions that are three decimals. If you want fractions, you can set that up. That's not a problem. Under linear tolerance, three decimals. Under angular, we can choose between minutes and, and seconds or tenths of a degree, which is what I have this set for. Under text, I like all my dimensions horizontal. You can have them any way you see fit. This is all the ways you can do dimensions. Under font, I use Arial. It happens to be a nice sans serif font, really easy to see. The numbers are really easy to see. Um, that's important, so you don't want mistakes. Under size, uh, eighth of an inch is fine. Style, normal. And if you're making engineering drawings, you may want to pick one of these choices. It'll set up a bunch of standards for you. We don't need those for this example. Color. I like my dimensions to be a different color than my line art. If you have a color printer, this is great. If you don't, doesn't matter what this is set to. It's all going to come out black. Under weight, that's fine. Uh, Argon puts dimensions on their own layer. We'll talk about that later. Arrowheads. I like this choice, and I like my arrow size to be proportionate. I like the length to be about three times the height. So I am, and that's fine. So we'll hit OK. OK. Now we want to do the drawer front. Let's click on it. It's highlighted. Select it. We go up to Layout, Model to Sheet, and we need to pick the size paper that's in our printer. In this particular case, A4 is about 8.5 by 11. So we're going to pick A4 portrait, meaning it's vertical. And we're going to see four views. And that's OK. Now, under method, we have precise curves. That's exactly what we want to see. So that's fine. And under scale, well, here's how I do scaling. First of all, the computer is going to give us perfect dimensions, but it's going to scale our solid model when it converts it to 2D work. So I know that my drawer front in the real world is 18 inches wide. So if I did this to 10th scale, that would be 1.8 inches. And that's probably a little small for the size of paper. So I just went ahead and guessed at 0.2. Let's see what it does. Under pen styles, I have visible. What that means is, is that all the visible edges of the drawing will be visible when we, when we print it. And I, I do, in this case, want to see my hidden lines. So let's hit OK. And look, a couple of things happen. Number one, uh, the templates that come with Argon have some rudimentary artwork down here. And in this case, since I scaled this drawing, this little thing didn't scale. And I'm not going to use it anyway, so bye-bye. And look, this is really cool. If I hold down the Shift and the Control key and do a diagonal stroke zoom, you can see that my hidden lines are right there. That's where the drawer bottom is going to be. Hit Control F, and there are my four views. There's a top edge, here's a front view, here's a side view, and there is a trimetric view. Isn't that amazing? Fast. It's just a mouse click. Control F. All right, let's put some dimensions down. First thing we want to do is zoom in where we can see something. And let's go down to the horizontal dimension tool. By the way, you can set the horizontal dimension tool and the vertical dimension tool up as shortcuts so that instead of going over here to the actual tool, tool well, you can type an H on your keyboard and the horizontal dimension pops up. Let's go ahead and select this endpoint. Control F, stroke zoom back to here, and come back to this endpoint. Control F, and let's see what we just did. And look, it's 18 inches. Perfect. Let's get the another horizontal dimension, which would be the thickness. And let's click here, hold down the space bar, and drag that over here and let up. And there's that endpoint. The drafting assistant makes it almost impossible for you to get dimensions in the wrong spot. And one last major dimension. This one will be vertical. Let's zoom in on the end. And let's come back and plop there and here. And there's my 3.5. By the way, you can move these wherever you want. 
It's fast, quick, and works really great. And there you go. There is a very quick and dirty working drawing. And you have some more dimensions you're going to want to put in. I'm not going to do it in the interest of time. We've got the hardware holes and the drawer bottom to do. Now, where, what happened to our original drawing? Well, in Argon, this has been put on its own layer, which is really cool. By bringing up Control L, I can see this thing called a sheet view. Let's right click on that and change it to drawer front print and hit OK. That's the Enter key. And now I can come back and change my default layer to layer 1. I can turn off my drawer front print, shut this down, Control F, hit the G key, and I'm back to where I started. And now I can come back and do layout, uh, model to sheet, same settings, and there's my drawer side. And I can move these around and put them back where they need to be. Get rid of that and save that layer as a drawer side. And rename that. Drawer side, print, and come back here. And we, We're not going to dimension that one, but you can do it later on your own. Turn this off, Control F, G key, and there we go. And you go through and make all of your working drawings, send them to the printer, take them out to the shop, and you will have dead on geometry. Your work should be as perfect as it is on the screen. Doesn't get any easier than that. Have fun!